One of the things that's fascinating about this for me psycho psychologically, and television presenters are some of the worst people for it, yeah. and radio presenters, I should note, there's one I'm thinking of, but I won't say who it is. Boasting, not you, Kate. <laughs> say, boasting Phew. about <laughs> being bad with maths. I take issue with the word boasting. I, I didn't say you did it, but because me, I'm, honest. I would say, oh. yeah, being honest. No, <laughs> I'm really awful at maths. No one would do that about Nobody reading. Nobody feels good about that. No one would do it about reading. You wouldn't say it the same way. You wouldn't say I'm really awful at reading. You'd say, you'd say now look, I don't want to shame anyone who's not good at maths, but I want to say. Actually, if you're not good at maths, that is a core skill you need to work on and you should take seriously. Just like literacy is a core problem for our country, numeracy is too. And it's, let's call it flippancy, if you like. There's a flippancy mm -hmm. about being bad with maths yeah, that doesn't, yeah. exist, yeah, doesn't yeah. exist on reading. Yeah. Mm. That's part of what National Numeracy Day, Day is. It's OK not to be good at maths, but if you can, try and make yourself a little bit better because that's why people get ripped off, because they can't do the numbers. And you might get more pizza. You might, well, let's do this pizza some, OK? So the question was, you're on a takeaway menu. Two 10-inch pizzas versus one 15-inch pizza both cost £10. What is the better deal? So when I was first to art about this, I said, yeah. definitely, I'm going to go for two, because then I've got one, and then Annie and the boys can have the other one. OK. Definitely go for two. But you can also and have it slices. it feels like uh, you'd get more pizza if you had two 10-inch pizzas. So what do you think the answer is, if you try and work it out? One 15-inch One 15-inch. Inch. Right, why? Because I'm not very good at maths. Well, because, <laughs> because, so because if I show you the she said flippantly. if I show you the boxes, I think it becomes easier. If you if you wouldn't mind, yes. one fifteen versus two ten inch. Yeah. I think it helps. You can see, but we need to do it by the maths. Do you know, do you remember? This is all about school maths. What is the area of a circle? Laura's got a hand up. Can we go to Laura? Yes, class. <laughs> What's the area of a circle? This is the area squared. sat at the back of a, a class. So, so, pi r squared. Pi r squared. Oh, no. Now, ben, ben, I've got a whiteboard up here for it, uh, oh. which we should bring up now, hopefully, so you can see behind me as I'm going to do some writing on here. I've never, I've never worked on one of these before, so let's hope it's all right. So, first of all, we're going to ignore pi, because pi's the same on both. So is that we like can, pizza? Yeah, exactly. We can pi... <laughs> well, yes, you know what it is. I won't explain that You're today. being flippant about <laughs> maths again, <laughs> No, no, that's fine. That's I'm fun. distracted by the so, food. So, <laughs> let me get on with the explanation so people understand it. So, this is just about r squared, the radius squared. Now, a 10-inch pizza, that's the diameter. The radius is half of it. So, half of 10, Ben, is...? Five. Five. So, we write a five down, square it. What's five squared? Five times five? Twenty-five. Five times five equals 25. There are two of them. So, if I can do this, times two... Fifty. So, 50. 50. Now, this is the more difficult one. You can use a calculator if you want. 7.5 squared... Is half of the 15-inch pizza. Which is half of the 15-inch pizza, half of that, the radius is 7.5. Is 49, is 7.7... It's, it's more than 49. More than 49. And, in fact, the actual answer is it's 56.25. So, the 15-inch pizza is 56.25. So, it's four inches more pizza, four well, it's, it's, No, it's, it's, a, it's over 10% more pizza on the 15-inch pizza. Amazing. It's more than a tenth more on top. But just very interesting. Jason Manfred's just coming in. He looks really shocked. He's talking. Did, did you get that? Jason, do you remember what the circumference of a pizza, a, of a, a circle is? All I know is I'm starving. <laughs> <laughs> Laura, circumference of a pizza quickly. Do you remember? Pi D. Pi D. Pi D. Pi times the diameter. So all then we have to do, do the you diameter. Can just of the... imagine Laura at school. She'd have that expression on her yeah. face. She was very, she? very smart. I constantly have my <laughs> hand up. <laughs> Pi D. So all we have to do is compare the diameters. Two 10 inch pizzas. That's two times 10 is. 20. And one 15 inch pizza is 15. 20 is bigger than 15. So if you like your stuffed crust, you would get more stuffed crust on two 10 inch pizzas, oh. but you'd get more pizza on one 15 inch Interesting. pizza. Interesting. You see a little pizza mass that works. Wow. Hey, <laughs> and a pun too.